smart. I'll probably um, I'll probably say more of with like people who do strip clubs to be honest with you. Uh, first word that popped into my head was flexibility. Like it's like sort of what I'd like say yoga is as well, where it's like quite what comes to my mind? Yeah. Uh, well, it's just uh, like, like, like strict, like obviously, like obviously the the thing you'd be a strip club that'd be the first thing that comes to mind. Paul Anderson, but it, it's also an exercise. I just think it's just just for women. So majority for women, just to show off so, sort of sexual nature, stuff like that, sexual pres presence. Just trying to get get attention for men. Fitness, just like pure fitness, like full body muscle and stuff like that. Yeah. Yes, same. I first started I Apple Fitness about three years ago. I Apple Fitness classes are all female. There are whole schools that are, are unisex, but I choose to keep it all female. I just think girls should have something for themselves and the girls are like some of them self-conscious coming to class and I think if males were there it would put them off and they wouldn't feel comfortable and they wouldn't get as involved as I'd like them to so yeah I, I keep it all female. The reason I got into pole fitness I used to dance a couple of years ago and girls used to ask me to teach them and things like that so I'd start teaching them and I was learning them how to do pole and I just love teaching them so I decided that I wanted to do it as a career. People will always stereotype pole fitness, I think because, obviously because of its roots and things like that. People are becoming more aware that it is a sport and the sport side of it is different to the stripping side of it. But then there are a lot of small minded people in the world who refuse to do their own research or look further into it, they just want to see it as that. So there will always be a stereotype, but it is, it is getting more acknowledged as a sport, which is really good. The type of girl that comes to our classes, there isn't a type, it's literally everybody. It's shy girls, confident girls, big girls, skinny girls, young girls, old old women, it's everyone. It, it's literally like our age range is from about 16 to like 65. There's, there's a, like just literally every type of woman you can think of. Um, people come for different reasons, people come to get confident, people come to get fit, people come for the social side of it. To, get away from the kids, it's literally every woman comes all different types. The pole fitness is a full body workout. People think it's like it's mostly upper body, but it's actually not, it's mostly your core. Um, it, it literally uses your whole body, so every move that you do, it's like you're using your arms, you're using your legs, you're using your stomach, your back, your, stomach, your shoulders. So it's, it's literally like a full body workout. It, it's hard, but that's why you get really good results. And it's faster than say like going to like the gym because it, it's, it's more intense. And like you're concentrating so much on getting the moves like the, your, your instructors told you to do. You're concentrating so much on getting that, you're not realizing how much exercise you're actually doing. Whereas if you're on a treadmill and you're just running, you're looking at the time, waiting for the time to, like, to go down. When, you, when you're actually doing the class, you're not looking at the time, you're concentrating on what you're doing which I think makes you work harder. Mm. I think all fitness helps with women's confidence massively. One of the reasons, because when they first come, they're so nervous and like, to the point people don't come. Sometimes people book a class and they bottle out and, and they don't come. I can understand because it, it's scary going into a new gym and something that you don't know, like especially pole when you've got to wear shorts and they don't like the legs and all the rest of it. But as soon as they come through the door and they see everyone's here for the same reason, no one's looking at the cellulite, no one cares about the cellulite, everyone's concentrating on themselves, they're, like, they're doing the moves, and you just, like, you can see them, like, the first class and they're a bit like that, and then, they, like, they, they come out of themselves, it's, they get confident, they get a move that they think that they would never be able to do, they see somebody else doing, going upside down maybe, and then they, can, they go upside down, and it just builds the confidence that they can do it, and, like, they, all the girls build each other up, they're all encouraging, so, I think, People like, I don't know if you go in a gym and everyone's looking at you, and like, because I've, I've had that myself, I don't like going into a gym, whereas they come in here, and the girls are like, oh, you're okay, how are you? Like, they're, they're very friendly, because they know how it's, what it feels like for it to be their class, and that builds the confidence that other girls talk to them. Hey, hey, I got a condo in Manhattan, baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited, so go and get to clapping.